Good morning everyone and welcome to Psalm Reading 10. We will be reading Psalm 10. <laughs> uh, this is a very straightforward psalm. There are no free psalm notations and no confusing elements. But uh, without further ado, let's get into Psalm 10. Lord, why are you so far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? An evil person is proud and hunts down those who are weak. He catches weak prey by making clever plans. He brags about what his heart longs for. He speaks well of those who always want more. He attacks the Lord with his words. Because he is proud, that evil person doesn't turn to the Lord. There is no room for God in any of his thoughts. Everything always goes well for him, so he is proud. He doesn't want to have anything to do with God's law. He makes fun of all of his enemies. He says to himself, I will always be secure. I will always be happy. I'll never have any trouble. His mouth is full of curses and lies and warnings. With his tongue he speaks evil and makes trouble. Sinful people hide and wait near the villages. From their hiding places they murder those who aren't guilty of doing anything wrong. They watch in secret for those they want to attack. They hide and wait like a lion in the bushes from their hiding places. They wait to catch those who are helpless. They catch them and drag them off in their nets. Those who have attacked are beaten up. They fall to the ground. They fall because their attackers are too strong for them. Sinful people say to themselves, God doesn't pay any attention. He covers his face. He never sees us. Lord, rise up. God, show your power. Don't forget those who are helpless. Why do sinful people attack you with their words? Why do they say to themselves, they won't hold us accountable? God, you see trouble and sadness, you take note of it, you do something about it. So those who are attacked place themselves in your care. You help children whose fathers have died. Take away the power of bad and sinful people, hold them accountable for the evil things they do. Uncover all the evil they have done. The Lord is king and forever and ever. The nations will disappear from his land. Lord, you hear the longings of those who are hurting. You cheer them up and give them hope. You listen to their cries. You stand up for those whose fathers have died and for those who have been beaten down. You do it so that no one made of dust may terrify others anymore. Amen and hallelujah. <laughs> I have to say a good song, especially if you're feeling defeated. Well, I don't feel like I need to say anymore, because everything I could say has been said, so until next time. <laughs>